This is Jay Teaches Reading for All, Lesson 94, the O-U-G-H endings. And I can guarantee you that O-U-G-H is not going to sound like it is spelled. That is for sure. Uh, we've got an O-U here, and that's usually ow. And we won't hear ow in the O-U-G-H endings. As usual, we're going to start reviewing, first of all, with endings that help us compare things. Uh, I-E-R, E-R, helps us compare two things, and I-E-S-T, E-S-T, helps us compare more than two things. So, students, say these before I do. Pretty, prettier, prettiest, roomy, roomier, roomiest, steady, steadier, steadiest. Dirty, dirtier, dirtiest, friendly, friendlier, friendliest. Okay, teachers have students read those to you now. Press pause. Okay, we're going to review lesson 93, and as I did when we went through this the first time, I'm going to use a blocker to kind of help us focus in. There are a few S-U-R-E endings that sound like sure, and here's the word sure. Okay, students, read these before I do. Assure. Reassure. Insure. Reinsure. Teachers, have students read these to you. Now, a couple words that I could think of where sure ends with a sound like sure. Okay, students, these two words. Pressure. Erasure. And teachers have students read these to you. Most times, S-U-R-E endings, is going, they're going to sound like zhur. Students, read these before I do. Measure. Pleasure. Treasure. Exposure. Composure, closure, disclosure. Teachers have students read these to you. Press pause. T-U-R-E endings usually sound like chur. Students, read these before I do. Mixture. Future. 
rapture, nature, capture, adventure, gesture, moisture, Puncture. Teachers, have students read these to you. Press pause. Once again, I'm going to use a blocker. <coughs> Excuse me. O-U-G-H. Wow. A few times O-U-G-H will sound like uff, as in tough, rough, enough. Teachers, have students read these three words to you. And if you'd like, give them a spelling test on one of the words. I'm not pushing for that because um, you can't really sound these things out. But it wouldn't, it would probably not be a bad idea just to get students uh, just to give them a little more experience with this ending. All right, press pause. A few O-U-G-H endings sound like O, oh, long O, although, and do. Um, and I should have... I forgot to go over the uh, meanings of these words. Um, we'll start with tough. It means strong and sturdy. The height of an alligator is tough. Rough means having is hard, you know, and it's hard and it's not smooth. Okay, and it could have bumps on it. Um, a bumpy dirt road is rough. And then this word is enough. Enough means you don't need any more. We have enough food for breakfast, meaning we don't need any more food. So we go to although, which means in spite of the fact that. So although I ran five miles today, I'm not tired. You know, in spite of the fact I ran all that way, I'm not tired. And dough means a mixture of flour and liquid. Um, could be water, could be milk, um, and other ingredients into a soft mass for baking bread or pastry, something like that. I made enough pizza dough for a large pizza. Okay, so now... Teachers have the students read these two words to you, and you can give them one for a spelling test. Press pause. I could only think of one word where O-U-G-H sounds like OO, the long U sound, instead of the long O sound, the long U sound, in through. So... Through means going in one end of something and out the other, like uh, the train went through the tunnel. Okay, and we, we will go on to the next one, which is the O-U-G-H sounding like off, like in cough. And I think everybody knows what a cough is. But teachers, you can uh, demonstrate if the student doesn't know. And what I'd like you to do now, teachers, is have the students say these two words to you. And you can give them both as spelling words if you want to. Press pause. And... Who says English is easy? Not me. 
and probably not you either. For example, the word who. The O is not long O. It's not short O. It's long U. Who. And says, A-Y is not A. It's E. Eh. Says. This S sounds like a Z, but that's that's not breaking any rules. That's That's something that S does frequently, so that's not breaking any rules. But English is not easy. And we're going to have more examples of English not being easy in Lesson 95. And we're not done with that GH. That GH is just going to give us fits. Um, in Lesson 95, GH is going to be silent in uh, its uses. And also we're going over some other letters and letter combinations that are silent. So that's something tricky that uh, we need to know as independent readers. See everybody in Lesson 95.